All right, guys, I'm going to make some popcorn. And this is my favorite way of making popcorn. It's right on the stove. It's better than that microwave popcorn. All right, so I turned on my eye. I have um, gas stove, which I love because it makes it so much easier to regulate your heat. So I just put in some canola oil. Didn't matter how much, I just put in some. Now I'm gonna get my popcorn kernels. And you can get the Oval Rettenbacher kernels. And they're the white kernels. They're real small and petite. And they're like the best kernels you can use to pop your popcorn. And you also can buy some from Kroger or Pathmark. They also have, um, they call the white popcorn. And it's like $3 a bag, less than $3 a bag. It's a big bag and it'll last you for a long, long time. All right, so I'm going to pour the kernels in there. You see? All right. I just pour it, see, just enough scattered. All right, you can add salt if you want to. Sometimes I do. I like sea salt, but I don't have any right now, so I'm gonna use some kosher salt. And then you just add it all in there. All right, I'm gonna swirl it around a little bit. All right, to get that salt all blended with those kernels. And then I'm gonna do the last thing is put my lid on top and let it go. And that's it. I don't have to shake. You know how back in the day you had to do the Jiffy popcorn, the little containers you had to shake. You shake, shake, shake. And your parents would say, make sure you shake that popcorn so all the kernels will pop. So we all eat that popcorn while we watch this movie. Me and Daddy, Mom, I make sure. Well, this you don't have to do all that. You just let it go. This is like a perfect time if you want to, you know, get your cold beer, your mug ready. And, um, you know, get your favorite television show on. And go ahead and let your popcorn start popping. And as soon as your popcorn is finished, you ready to sit down and enjoy a movie. So, now, while it's popping, I'm going to get my bowl. So I'm going to put my popcorn in the bowl. You're not seeing me right now because I have on my pajamas. And you're not going to see me in my pajamas. But I'm about to pop my popcorn. And then I'm going to heat it. With a bottle of water. I'm going to eat with a bottle of water tonight. Because it's kind of late. I'm going to eat it. And then I'm going to go to bed. Now you see what it's doing? All on its own. Look at the fire. You see what the fire is? The fire is at, uh, at high. Look what it's doing. It's doing its thing. I'm not shaking. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to wait until it stop popping. And then you're going to see the final the finish. Product. All right. Hopefully I didn't put enough in there, too much in there that the lid will pop off, but it's not. I put in just enough. You hear it? Okay. All right. That's done. There you go. You hear that? That popcorn. Look at it. Beautiful white popcorn. Put it in the pot. So I got a little salt left. Put it in the pot. Now look at my popcorn. I'm going to get one. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Nice and tender. Nice and fluffy. Now, you can add more salt to it if you want to. You can add some butter and add salt to the butter and pour it over your popcorn like you in the theater. Or oh, you're going to eat it just like this. I'm telling you. It's the best popcorn. And you saw it only took me about, what, five minutes at tops? I had to shake and I popped some popcorn. Now, if you want to do it for a big family, get a big, big pop. I put a lid on it. Just make sure whatever the bottom of your pan is, is how you fill your popcorn. Don't overlap your kernels. You want your kernels spread around. You don't want to overlap because you all want to pop. All right? So, Good night, folks. I'm going to enjoy my popcorn, drink my water, and watch my favorite show, kick my feet, and go to bed. Good night.